today I want publicly to renew the British government's commitment to tackling sexual violence in armed conflict. We want to work to find practical ways to ensure that survivors feel confident to speak out and are able to regain the dignity and rights that are due to them. We want to see a significant increase in the number of successful prosecutions for these crimes so that we erode and eventually demolish the culture of impunity and establish a new culture of deterrence in its place. We want to use Britain's influence and diplomatic network to rally sustained international action and to push this issue up the global agenda. Thank you so much. Um, it is such an honor to be here this evening to launch such an important and very welcome new initiative. Throughout history, rape and sexual violence have been used as weapons of war. And in modern warfare, as women and girls have become primary targets, the problem has grown tremendously. The wars in Rwanda and Bosnia brought the issue to the world stage. And afterwards, the international community took significant steps to end impunity for the worst atrocities and to combat sexual violence in conflict. But although progress has been made, there is so much that needs to be done. Today, as conflicts rage around the world, sexual violence continues to take a terrible toll. No longer can we pretend not to know the grave consequences of our failure to prevent and combat these crimes. We know what the victims of such crimes want, but don't often get, justice and recognition. Strengthening efforts to gather, preserve, and act on evidence of sexual violence during war may afford greater justice to the victims and prevent even more widespread violations. It is so important. <laughs> 